So for today, we're going to be looking at the Starfarer's chess piece. If you guys don't know, I already reviewed the Starfarer set as a whole. In this video, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. I, we go through each piece individually, what I feel about them. We also go through their shaders, and that's actually it. We don't make an example set because I'm going to be making the individual sets into their own videos because I've decided that sometimes a piece just has multiple pieces that I really want to do and why not just make them their own individual video instead so that's pretty much it let me know if you guys like this idea if you guys don't let me know in the comments below but i really like it because it really means we can start using more pieces from a season pass or any other video really so again let me know what you guys think and let's just start off with the hunter so to start off we're going to be looking at the armor and then we'll be explaining the shader situation because it is kind of important with the pieces that i chose so for the helmet, we're using the Illicit Invader Mask specifically because the Vanguard Dare Grips have a red, red line coming across all of the arm on both sides. And I at least wanted to have some red in there so I can match that a little bit. Not only that, for the boots, we have the Deep Pockets Ornament for Lucky Pants, specifically because I think it's just the cleaner look when you have Lucky Pants. I think the base look of Lucky Pants looks a little dirty. If you guys do want to see more example sets, I actually did make a Lucky Pants video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. It's one of my more favorite sets because the ornament that we're currently using, Deep Pockets, it's one of my favorite boots from the game, if I'm being quite honest. So it is one of my more favorite videos. So if you guys check it out, I really would appreciate it. For the cloak, we're using the Binary Phoenix cloak specifically because I like the fact that it almost looks like it's connected to the chest piece, although I could have done a better choice with the with the shader but if i'm being quite honest the shader situation is a little rough so to start off i'm using boreal chart on the helmet and binary phoenix specifically because the atmospheric glow tends to mess up the shader situation specifically for the helmet the atmospheric glow actually has the green glow to it instead of uh the dark green that you see on the chest piece and the arms it, it actually the helmet actually takes the right side of that green. And as you, as you guys can see, it's really bright, unfortunately. And for the cloak, it actually deepens the green a lot more and it's a little dirty looking, which is what I did not want to see. So for the atmospheric glow, this, the reason I'm using this is not because I like this shader. I actually do like this shader, but it's not the main focus of why I'm using this shader. If you guys don't know, Vanguard Grips actually has a really negative point to it which it actually has like this distressed look on the shoulder pieces and there are shaders that actually can like take that away which is why i'm using atmospheric glow it actually takes away that dis di discoloration and hopefully i'll have it up right now but it's just one of my biggest pet peeves of these arms because these arms look really cool and the fact that it has that discoloration really pisses me off so that's why I'm using Atmosphere Glow for a lot of these pieces. Not only that, the chest piece also has is very finicky with colors as well, which is why I just decided to use Atmospheric Glow because it just melds all the pieces together. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely, definitely cool. I like this set, but I do think that the Warlock might be the best, but you guys will just have to wait and see, or you guys can skip to the Warlock spot. As for the Titan, I'm going to be real with you guys. This one is the weakest set for me personally, and it's not even the Titan's fault. It's just the lack of options the Titan has, I guess you could say. For the helmet, we're using the one-eyed mask, specifically with the GN uh, ornament. You can use the GN ornament or not. I just think the GN ornament looks better with it because without it, you, you kind of look like you have a big head, which is unfortunate because I think the base look of one-eyed mask would be a lot better with it because it looks well for one one of the eyes is missing which is perfect for this set but what are you gonna do for the arms we're using the Katoria gauntlets specifically because i was trying to go for a hybrid of like a pirate but like not it's i don't know where i was going with this but i do like it it's just unfortunate that i don't like the boots now the reason i'm using the lost pacific agrees is because it was the best choice out of everything you don't want to have armor pieces because this doesn't have armor. So the best bet would, would have been to just use Lost Pacifica or any of the other non-armor pieces we have. But the other problem is I wanted to have like jewelry 
even fur, something like that for the boots. And unfortunately, we just don't have that option for Titans, at least not that I had. So the Lost Pacific Agreed is the best choice that I had. Although there are other pieces that you could be using, quite frankly. It's just that I don't think it fit, fit well with the boots. If you guys have better choices out there, let me know in the comments below. I, I'm definitely open to it, but just be aware that I just cannot find any boots that I actually, I actually thought would look good with it. For the mark, we're actually using the Midnight Oil Suit. This is from Witch Queen. It's one of the new blues that we got, and I think it looks cool. I like the fact that it's very minimalistic, and it literally just has like cloth on the left side, and that's really it. Nothing too crazy, which is what I wanted because I don't want the mark to take everything away from this set because I just want the chest piece and the boots to be like the main focus, and the arms as well because the arms is pretty big for me, which is why I'm using them. Now for the shader, this is where it gets pretty funny because Burnish Reed, I never thought I would be ever using ever because I'm personally not a big fan of the shader situation. I think the bright green with the gold and the, I, I, I know I get it. It's supposed to be Master Chief colors and whatnot, or at least that's what I've been told. But I just think it looks kind of weird sometimes. The reason I'm using this is because with cloth, it actually gives like this almost like a like rubbery look. It looks super cool and I like the design of it. And it was a big plus that the arms, the Torrier Gauntlets, if you guys don't know, has a bunch of bracelets and rings. And again, if I'm going for a pirate theme, I think that's like one of the best choices you can do. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I think the only piece that I would change is the boots and maybe I would actually switch it out with the Midnight Oil Suit boots because those boots are really cool. I unfortunately just don't have it unlocked apparently. So that's unfortunate, but once I get them, I think I'm going to switch to that and then switch out the mark. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Titans, I do apologize, but don't get me wrong. Everything from the waist up, I think looks good as hell. Hell, you can even switch the, the helmet out for something else and it'll still look good. So Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with the best chess piece right now for me personally. It just looks so good. So for the helmet, we're using the Elect of the Empty Hood. I love this helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets in the game for, for Warlocks. Not only do you have this really cool V purple, but it also has horns. If you look at the sides, it looks really cool. I think that I, I would fuck with it even harder if the horns were actually crystallized, but whatever. For the exotic, we're actually using the Nova Filigree uh, ornament from the Necrotic Grips. I love this ornament. If you want to go for like a classic like bougie look then the nevoa filigree is going to be the best one for you and if you want to see any some and if you want to see some more example sets for necrotic grip i actually did make a video for that one as well you guys can see the video right here but yeah arms are definitely super dope for the boots we're actually using the boots of the great hunt one of my favorite boots for the warlocks i'm not even kidding definitely one of my favorite boots for the warlock definitely if you want to go for like a bougie look if you want to go for like a Almost like a transcendental, trans, transcend, transcendental, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. Shit looks cool is what I'm trying to say. And then for the bond, we're also using another one, one of my favorites for specifically like a bougie look. I think the coronation bond, easily one of my my favorite bonds for the warlocks. I love the fact that you guys have scrolls on your bond. I think that's so fucking metal. So I know I'm saying I a lot of these pieces are my favorite. It literally is because a lot of pieces are, are my favorite. I think the Coronation Bond, the Boots of the Great Hunt, and the Elect of the Empty Hood are just like chef kiss. They're so good. And personally, I think Starfair Robes is a great addition to the Warlock wardrobe because it adds a great chess piece to really mess around with. And if you really want to mess around with it even more, you can go all in with a, with a Fallen themed look because you do have more pieces than just this set you have the starfares robes you have the fallen pieces from destiny one you have the scatterhorn stuff and i think that's it i might be wrong i can't think of anything else off the top of my head because i know the warlocks didn't get the fallen themed armor from season of the hunt they got hive themed armor and the hunters technically got the fallen themed armor so the hunter does have a lot more choices but fucking hell if this doesn't look like one of the best chess pieces for the warlocks so classes hunter titan warlock let me know what y'all think up in the comments below do, do you who, who do you guys think got the better set 
I personally will fuck with Warlock a lot more because I think the best chess piece is that. But let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I will be having more content out. I am currently working on some non-fashion videos, which I've promised myself I was going to do. Hopefully that by the end of this week or next week, specifically, we're going to be looking at weapon stuff. So like weapons I'm going to be going for, some of the best weapons from the season, reviewing weapons essentially, and some other stuff here and there. So if you guys like the content, let me know and I will see you guys later.